Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video. Good to take a look at two secret nerfs, which aren't in the game just yet, but will be definitely when the update arrives in a couple of weeks or so's time. So we can take a quick dive into that and just talk all things about it. Also, just want to quickly shout out my second channel and my stream, which I stream pretty much every single day around 5 p.m. GMT time, what well, is British time. And I've been having some problems, we'll make sure to check it out today. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first brawler, which is getting, I would say, nerfed, maybe even killed with the next update. It is with Ego. So if you didn't see in the balance change notes, you might not have seen it. So basically what's going to happen is that gadgets and star powers aren't going to be charging hypercharges anymore. So you're wondering, well, why is this such a big issue then? Well, because on Edgar, literally the main reason why you're able to cycle through hypercharges is because of the Let's Fly gadget. Three of those will literally charge a full hypercharge. If you remember back to when Edgar's hypercharge first came out, you used to be able to charge his hypercharge with literally like two gadgets. And then you would be able to cycle through like two, three hypercharges in one game. They then emergency nerfed that, so then it takes... I think it's like four supers worth. I think it's around something like that, right? Someone definitely will correct me, but it just takes a while to get it. So uh, that's actually going to be changed. And then more than likely what is going to happen. Wait, let's see. If, okay, that was a bit dumb. Um, what more than likely is going to happen as well, because those fixes to Fang and Ego a couple of, well, a month ago or so, actually was only just a quick fix because I think that it was like holiday time. And of course, those brothers are broken. So it's just a quick fix just to do that, because of course, I think with the game's balance, the ones to try and make hype charges all kind of feel similar and kind of charge at the same rate. So they're probably going to be, well, it's going to get reverted to, well, obviously I'm waffling at this point, but going to get reverted to around like two or two and a half supers, which definitely is going to impact Edgar because the main reason why it's going to impact him so much, because again, the Let's Fly is not going to actually charge his hypercharge. So the only way you can charge it, well, you eventually get it through the automatic charging, right? So if you're using that gear, it's going to help you out a bit. But for the most part, all right, let's try it. I'm going to, got to con concentrate here because we got our hypercharge going. Look at this. I mean, hypercharge ego is just absolutely insane. Doesn't change the fact that hypercharge ego is just crazy strong right now. Um, but it's still going to impact because how you got to charge two and a half supers from Ego. A lot of the times, it's so hard to actually feed your super off a brawler because, you know, typically good matchups for Ego are the squishy brawlers. You don't actually get too much of your super recharged from that. So a lot of people are saying this could pretty much kill Ego. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle about it because maybe you might switch over to the other gadget, which I'm going to be testing out now just to try and get used to that playstyle because I feel like the hardcore gadget might actually be better with the update. Alright guys, jumping into another game then. So this is what I'm going to be testing out with the new update is the hardcore gadget. So it's not really like the best gadget. It's just going to be good, especially against harder matchups. But the main thing is, is that you actually just want to charge your super through attacking the opponents, right? So hardcore gadget is going to allow you to do that. Wow, so I'm just able to do a lot there. So it's going to be really hard for me to get my first super. And then once I get my first one, it should be plain and simple. It's going to pop. Actually, no, I couldn't pop in the gadget yet. Okay, we can maybe pop it now. Okay, that was a bit of a waste, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to charge a lot of our super. Somehow we get clearance off. So yeah, this is probably the way you're going to be playing Edgar. The first super is going to take for ages. And that's probably one of the re reasons why in the past, Edgar just wasn't strong. Everyone, well not everyone, a lot of people were always under the like opinion that Ego was really underrated but he just wasn't because you're pretty much a sitting duck without the let's fly gadget but at the same time like now he doesn't charge hypercharge so it just won't be anywhere near as good so we're gonna pop gadget here okay that was pretty dumb yeah that was very dumb as me okay i'm turning into an Ego main here making dumb plays no more hardcore gadgets left and again i'm a sitting duck without my super that's just how it is with Ego without let's fly and without the extra gadget gear about to get our hypercharge in a second. Okay. It's been pretty annoying. Finally, we can start to go ham. We can't go on this mazy though. I'm gonna pop hypercharge and just go straight for the Larry and Lorry. I'm gonna use super again here. A favor mazy and just run all over them. So, I mean, at least Egg got so hyper. Okay. Can we score that still? No, that is. What just happened there? Was that my fault? I mean, that was quite a bad pass, but I didn't think it was that bad. 
Ah. Uh, surely we can survive this. Okay, we need to make amends for that mistake because that was damn bad. That was damn bad. I don't even know how that Taurus Super made it, but... The point I'm trying to make is, Echo's going to change a lot. It's not going to be as brain dead as before. You know, literally, you could be having the worst game ever. It's happened so many times on the stream, but then, because of the amount of gadgets that you can spam, you're just able to eventually get a hype charge, and the hype charge is still broken. Again, it can also depend on the meta and um, what brawlers are getting the hyper charges in the future, because if some Ego counters, I don't know, like Surge get hypercharge, and he's obviously not going to be anywhere near as strong. So we should be take down Amazie here. Tara's going to go down as well. And we've got a hypercharge to play with in overtime. So I'm just going to jump in on this Larry and Laurie and just absolutely destroy them. Surge goes for the goal. Not too sure why. But it doesn't matter because my hypercharge is just completely broken. I absolutely love it. It's so fun. But at the same time, it's just so strong. You'll have to let me know, guys, in the comment section below what build you'll be using with Edgar with the new update because things are going to change a lot. But let's jump into the next brawler. All right, guys, jumping into the final brawler, which is getting some changes with the next update. It is with Fang. So you guessed it, just like with Let's Fly, how that uh, will no longer charge a hypercharge. The same with, um, of course, called Fresh Kicks. So, of course, again, rewind back. I don't know. Is that sneaks in? Oh, okay. Again, rewind back to when the hypercharge first came out. Essentially, you could get your super with like, say if you get your first Ego super, um, your first Fang super, and then kill someone with your fresh kicks, you'd pretty much have a hypercharge straight away, which was just way too broken. It got emergency nerfs, so then it took four, or I think 4.5 or four supers to get hypercharge, which, you know, still Fang and Ego are pretty strong because you can just get some cheesy kills with fresh kicks or just press the gadget and you'll pretty much have um, hypercharge, which is just ridiculous. So, uh, kind of missed that. I'll, I'll, I panicked, so right? I thought the air was going to score there. But anyways, so now Fresh Kicks isn't going to charge hypercharge. It's going to go back to what it was before, around 2, 2.5 supers. So, again, this could hurt Fang a lot. I don't think it's really going to kill him. Like, air I think the air goal nerfs are really going to hurt, but I don't think it's going impl to like, impact Fang too much because he already gets a lot of charge from just bouncing through opponents, especially in 5v5. You're going to get... Um, you're probably still going to get hypercharged pretty quick. I think, if anything, faster than what he is in his current state right now. So, that's just one thing to bear in mind. Should be able to get the kill there. Come on. Nice, that's nice. Okay, this hypercharge is scary. We're going to pop Oz to get the double kill. Love to see it. And then I'm just going to super up as well to try and help out the egg girl. So, that's going to be... Um, the first game let's hop into the next one okay so jumping into the final game here so another point i wanted to make is will the build with fang switch up so what people might be doing once the update drops is they might be swapping over to the divine soul star power so this actually used to be the better star power until um the super damage got buffed with fang which was what like four months ago or so it is the star power was always used more because fresh kicks were just so hard to get a kill with so people, you may as well just have this extra shield every five seconds, which is pretty good against, um, well, most scenarios because it allows you just to tank a little bit extra, and especially if you have the shield gear as well. That's actually a pretty solid build overall. So yeah, people will be switching to this star power. You won't have to worry about trying to get the perfect combination with Fang any anymore with fresh kicks. You can just play even more brain dead, in my opinion. So we should be able to sneak through here. Don't think Morsis has the DPS. I don't know what those guys are doing. That's just one error everyone makes in Brawl, but just leave the ball in that position. And someone with brain cells, like myself, you know, some, I have some brain cells. I could just score. Also, will people be switching to the popcorn gadget? Because I think that's actually pretty underrated, especially on a grassy map. I actually use that gadget a lot more. Okay, we're just getting wrecked there. There's just no chance, especially once he has super. Can we spawn in time to at least get a couple of shots off? Okay, we need to kill him, but that's all good. And maybe Fang as well. I think Fang will still be really strong, right? Like, this, unless they, um, they nerf the super damage, I think, he'll, I think he'll still be one of the best brawlers in the game just because it's Fang. And especially in 5v5, you just can't go wrong with picking him. He's so brain dead. The fact that he can just bounce off people like crazy. Maybe they could nerf something like that mechanically because 5v5 is just completely choked when, he, when he's in the game, especially when he's meta. So I haven't even got a hypercharge yet. This goes to show, like, Fresh Kicks definitely helps a lot with hypercharge. Um, charge it up. And you can see, like, it's going to be a little bit worse. I would have probably got my hypercharge already if the update would have probably dropped. But 
yeah that's just that so let me know what you think of all of the changes in the comments section below do you think this is a good change i think it's the perfect change it should be happening next update so let me know down in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time